questions for design? How do you guys approach the week um, knowing that there could be some quarterback issues or questions just, you know, with, with uh, Adrian and, and Andrew just kind of uh, as you get right here on Monday? Uh, you know, like, that's obviously the case and something we're going to have to face, but I don't think we're approaching any differently. I think we're just going to go out there and make sure every position gets, you know, the little things that they need to uh, fix corrected because that's pretty much what we found out was kind of what resulted in the game. Just a bunch of little things here and there from a bunch of different guys. So that's kind of like we didn't really worry about who's going to be out there. We have confidence in everybody. So we just know if we go out there and, you know, focus on getting our little things right, then we'll be a lot better come Saturday. What, what did you see the and just, I think he's a playmaker. I think he's. I think I, I. I have, like I said, we have a lot of confidence in all of them. But I, I really think Andrew can get the job done if, uh, if you know, if it's on him this week. So, you know, we're just gonna, we're going to let him ride, and I feel, I feel like he's going to impress a lot of people. Did Adrian practice this morning, you guys, or did he sit out? Uh, no, he didn't practice today. He just took off. You said fumble. Yeah. Um, it's something that, like, you know, nobody feels worse about it than you. So you know, there's nothing somebody else can come over here and make you, like, you know, want to go do a little better. So you know, we all just, all right, you know, next play, it happened. We will get over it. Like, let's bounce back. Let's recover. You know, we need you. Just, we need you the next drive, whatever. You know. But like I said, nobody feels worse about it than you. So nobody's really, like harping on you. Nobody's like trying to get on you about that because that'll just make things worse. So, you know, we're all just pretty forward, just trying to get back on the track. You guys need to be special to work on that stuff, or is that, you know, just, you know, how do you get that clear out of your mind, or do you keep it in the back of your mind? Um, well, for me personally, they always tell you to like, forget about it, but like, I, I kind of, if it ever happens to me, I try to keep it, you know, just as a reminder, don't let it happen again. You know, I don't really try to change the way I play, but, you know, ball security is an emphasis, and that's something we have to, make sure we do a better job of. But, yeah, but we do things at practice to help with our ball security. Like, we have some drills and stuff that we go through. But, yeah, it's just – it all just depends on who you are. Some people, it's easier – it works better to forget about it. But for me, I kind of, you know, keep it with me just to make sure it doesn't happen again and try not to happen the first time, actually. Devine, there was a couple times where you really moved the pile uh, against Colorado. Have you done that last year? Um, you know, Maybe, I don't really know, but I definitely think I got a bunch of help from the old line. There was a bunch of times where I kind of just got myself in position to where it was a stalemate and just waited for them to come. And this, and I feel like they did a way better job than I've ever seen them before. Like when there is a stalemate, they were on our backs just pushing us and things like that. So that was definitely big. Do you feel like a stronger runner this year? I, do, I, do, I feel like I'm in better shape. So I, do, I just feel stronger overall as, as a person. So I definitely need to translate into the field. Yeah, even like, I was talking to, I was talking to a decap after the game. He's like, you can even just like, see in the locker room, like this is different. Like everybody, like we see what the good things we did, but like this loss, like hurt, like this, you know, it, it just hit a little harder. And like we know what we need to do, and we willing to make those changes in practice to get it done, you know, next week. It wasn't like it wasn't like we didn't do that in the past, but you can just tell there's different different intensity about it this week. Yeah, I mean, we set we set a standard. We might as well just keep keep living up to it. Or try to make it better. You know, we're gonna run the ball as much as we can. You know, that's some, one thing. We have a lot of guys that can do it, so we might as well get everybody touches and All let right. it work. Yeah, there was uh, you know, there always uh, there always is, and you know, our our job and our goal is to minimize minimize those left opportunities. So uh, we definitely we definitely watched the film, and you know there's definitely some things that you know everybody could have done a little better, or you know maybe some holes that were here, that you know we had good runs, but they could have been better and things like that. So, but that's I feel like that's something to you know something to be hopeful and be happy about because we did we did pretty well with what we did, but there's so much more out there we can go get. Them. Uh, not really. I was just I was more leads on anything. My biggest, like my biggest thing is our right, first start. 
Because I feel like, like I said, I've always, I've always been a guy that you know, people always say, oh, he's bigger, so he's a big back. I've never really considered myself a big back. I've just been my size. So, like, I've, I want to play football. I don't care. Like, you know, obviously it matters who your coach is, but I'll play football for anybody as long as I get a chance to play football. So I was just happy to get a fresh start and uh, go out there. You know, I, I knew I was going to have to make some changes, but I was like, if I can play football, I'll make those changes. Was there any changes besides just being physically stronger than Oh, probably just like better eating habits, just things like that. Just, you know, just nutrition and body-wise because I had to fit the mold that they were kind of looking for. So after those changes were made, it was just playing football at that point. What would have changed in your nutritional habits like this year compared to like your freshman year? All right, so I, I love food. Food tastes great. So <laughs> I, I, I'm not going to stop eating the things I like, but one thing I definitely started to do is I – definitely like portion it better. So if I eat something, I'll just eat less of it instead of just, you know, eat until I'm like stuff. I'll just have my things and I'll eat it. And once I'm done with that, it's over. I know it's the other side of the ball, but is it a neat thing to you to see the guys get black shirts and also, I mean, does it kind of raise things a little when you see those jerseys and you walk on the field? Yeah, the, like, all those guys deserved it. And it was, just, it was great seeing our Dwyer defense play Saturday. Like that, I've never seen my whole entire time being. I've never seen our defense play like that, and that was that was really cool to watch. And all those boys, they you know they've been working, they've been working real hard. So it's definitely cool to see them earn those black shirts. You know, a couple guys got them, and it's going to just make everybody else a little more hungry to go get them. So that's just only going to be better for us. Yeah, and I think. Honestly, less of the film, more of like just actually playing a game, like him getting in there and running around and just seeing how it's going to feel like when everything is fully live and everything matters. That is one thing I definitely think Saturday helped Maurice you know, and everybody on the team over. But yeah, the film, watching, like seeing them against other people and things like that, it definitely just helps you get your head around, you know, the speed of the game and how it's, how it's really going to go. How do they handle that rotation? Those guys during the game, they just get a feel or they tell you ahead of time, the series, that series? Uh, I think the only thing we knew for sure was that Greg was going to go out there first. And, you know, we just kind of had ideas. But Coach Held was really good at keeping us updated about, like, who's going in next. And, you know, this package is coming up. So it's just all kind of – we're all just kind of on our toes. But we kind of had a good idea, like, right before to, you know, get a little bit more right before you have to go out there. Uh, how much motivation was it for you when Greg Bell did come in and then Maurice here in the fall? You want to play. Yeah, I mean, like I said, I wanted to, I wanted to play. So it didn't matter who they brought. They could have brought you know 100 running backs. I don't think I would have changed. I would have tried to have been the starter, whoever it was. But you know, those guys are good, and they definitely made they definitely made it way more competitive. And everybody stepped up their game. So I definitely think it helped. Like I feel like I'm a pretty self motivated person, but. You know, if you bring talented guys in there, you're going to have to be better than them to do it. So it, it pushed everybody. What do you know about Troy? I know they're a fast team, and they have, you know, some pretty – they have some uh, they have some, like really athletic guys and stuff like that. So we're just going to have to uh, work against their speed with ours and, you know, try to use our muscle and things like that. But I know that, you know, they're going to be a well coach and things like that. So, you know, they're definitely going to be a team we can't just go in there and think we're going to whoop. We have to work for it. Uh, it, it was definitely you know good to see him like get out there and play and definitely just like do like do what he could because you know like you can know, you can obviously tell he loved playing like playing the game it just it just took too much out of him but you know I talk to Trey all the time like me and Trey talk like, we were good friends you know while he's on the team and I we're still good friends now we hit, hit him up on the weekends you know when he's playing Xbox I'm trying to play with him and stuff like that but you know like, it, it was definitely good seeing him give a chance everybody understood and. You know, everybody was happy for him that, you know, he came out here, did the best he could. You know, he finally hung it up. People were proud of him because, you know, like he, he sacrificed a lot to do it. So everybody was just happy for him.